Okay, tonight we're going to be working with our TI Inspire uh, calculator. I happen to be using a CX, um, but your CAS will do exactly the same thing. Please remember to upgrade your operating systems to, I think, the newest version right now is 3.0, and you can do that on uh, ti.education.com, I think, and you can do that for free. Just hook your uh, link up to your computer, and they'll upgrade it for free. It's definitely worth it. So here's our challenge tonight is to sketch the graph. Uh, it should say here f of x. If f of x is equal to x, if x is less than 0, and sine of x, if x is greater than or equal to 0. And then we're supposed to find the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 3. And we're also supposed to find the limit of f of x as x approaches 0. So we're going to do, I guess, step 1 first. And it's going to look like this, if you don't mind. Uh, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to calculator. With you, you would have gone to your home screen to get there. And then I'm just going to type this in. And this is something that I think you can really benefit from. If you follow my keystrokes here, so there's the red key that I just hit. Look, I have to tell you, you're going to have to be really, really familiar with these uh, icons here. This one is for step functions. So I'm going to choose that. Whoops, sorry. I'm going to choose that. Okay. And remember that we had x if x is less than 0, right? Is less than 0, right? And we said it would be sine of x, sine of x, S-I-N. Remember to open the parentheses. Put the x and then close the parenthesis if x is greater than or equal to 0. So if x is greater than or equal to 0, greater than or equal to 0. So we have to also make sure that we have a condition that makes sense here. And we do here. We have all numbers, right? We have all numbers less than 0 here. All numbers greater than or equal to 0 here. So we have that defined pretty well. I'm use my right-hand cursor. It's important because we want to have this whole thing captured here. And we're going to hit Control. Remember, the Control button is this blue button here. And it means that we're going to read all things in blue. And if we go over to over here, it says STO for store. And then we're going to type this in as F of X. F of X. Uh, nothing thrilling happens when we hit the button here. We just get done. But what is really good, now if what you would do is you go back to your home screen and choose graphs. I'm going to do that from here. Choose graphs because the first thing we're supposed to do is to sketch this. You just type in F of X and hit Enter. And there's a sketch of that graph. And I, I think this is, uh, even without the calculator, this should have been really, really doable, shouldn't it? Um, of course, here's the uh, f of x is equal to x for all values less than 0. And here's that sine function that you were looking for for all values uh, x, 0, or greater. So that should make some sense to you, right? OK. Now what we can do is, so that helps us sketch the graph. We can go back to our calculator, and we can now take those limits that we were supposed to look for. And that's really easy. For you, you're just going to hit your menu button. For me, I do it from here. I'm going to choose calculus. You're going to see exactly what I see here. Uh, we're supposed to take a limit, right? So we're going to take the limit. I think the first limit we are supposed to take is, is x approaches negative 3. Isn't that right? x approaches negative 3. Now, this uh, button here, would this uh, opening here would be if you were going to take a one-sided limit. But we're not. It doesn't ask us for a one-sided limit. And you just type in f of x. And you can see that the f of x keeps the f keeps coming in bold. That's just your calculator telling you that it understands that you're asking it to use a function that you've already saved. And there that is. And I think that makes perfect sense. And then we'll try the last one here. And for the same thing, you would go to right. You'd be here. You'd go to your menu screen. You tap this button here for menu. For me, that takes me here. You'd go to calculus. Choose calculus. Move to the right. Choose limit. Now again, we were not asked to take a one-side limit, so we're just going to take limit as x approaches 0 of f of x. f of x, yeah? And hit Enter. And those are our limits. I think that sh should be pretty straightforward. I hope it's helpful. I guess my real point in this video is to tell you that one thing you can do to really, really help your uh, AP uh, Calculus AB exam grade is to be really familiar with the technology that you're going to use before the exam starts. There will not be time during the exam to learn your technology, okay? All right, you guys, I hope it was helpful.